and welcome to episode 38 of the Breaking Yarn podcast. My name is Michaeli. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and this is my podcast where I talk about my knitting, my crocheting, and my yarn dyeing. You can find me online at breakingyarn.com or anywhere on social media at Breaking Yarn. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, let's just jump into it. Today I have, um, a, a, a <laughs> today I have a finished objects. I have a project half done or a PhD and I have two whips. So, oh, and I picked winners from my last episode when I announced that I had hit my thousand subscribers goal and I will be announcing who the winners are on that video as well. Um, I also have a new colorway coming out and a brand new pattern coming out. Um, so I'll be sharing some tester photos and some details about the launches of those as well. Um, so the first thing is that I finished my Holly White Socks. This is my pattern. And the yarn I used is called, I believe it's called Mint Cookies. And it's from Anna of Zebra Yarns. And it's a lovely self-striping um, yarn and um, the holly white texture is on there. I do a 20 round 2x2 two two cuff. I'll leg, the texture goes all the way around the leg and then just on the top of the foot down to my rounded toe. Um, so I finished those and when I finished them, obviously I still had enough yarn left over. And Anna was like, now you need to make one for your daughter um, so that you guys can match. And that's what my PhD is. I have a little socky here. It's already been worn, so I apologize if it looks any kind of dirty. Um, <laughs> my daughter um, was obsessed with it and wore it all over the house, in the garage. Just one sock. Not the other sock was you know, uh, just a barefoot, <laughs> but I made her little matching holly white socks in the zebra yarn colorway. And, um, I cast on 40 stitches for her. She is two and a half. Um, and I had read that like 40 to 44 stitches, 44 was like three T and higher or like maybe 40. I can't remember, but she, I did the three T size, which is 40 stitches and they fit her really well. So aren't, isn't that so cute? And I love that it's gonna match me. <laughs> I just, it's so cute, I can't. And people are always like, wow, what are you making? And now, most times when I'm knitting on public, um, I get the comment a lot like, oh, are you making socks for your daughter? Like, because I don't know if it just like looks small to them or something and they think it's for a child. Um, but I'm always like, no, these are for me. <laughs> like they're adult size socks. Um, but now it's like super cute to like pull this out of my project bag. <laughs> like this is what I'm making. It's a little sock for my daughter. And oh man. Okay, hold on. Let me unknit these really fast. I had an appointment this morning to donate blood to Tricor. <laughs> I know that's not really a, that's not... <laughs> I mean, I did donate my blood to Tricor, but it's not for like a good reason, <laughs> I guess. It's not for like a life-saving reason. Um, I do donate blood too, but um, I didn't this morning. Okay, so um, I'm knitting these Magic Loop, which for me is a big deal because I prefer nine inch circulars. Um, and I felt like I was relearning how to knit socks on a magic loop. I, it's been a long time since I've done magic loop. 
um, for knitting socks. I think my very first pair of socks was Magic Loop, um, but I had help with that. And then my second well, half pair, I think I've talked about this before, I knit one and a half pairs of socks before, and the half pair was toe up on Magic Loop. Definitely not my thing too. Um, so this was my first time attempting socks on Magic Loop by myself, and <laughs> there were a few points where I was like, wait, how do I, how do I do the heel? And I'm like, do I just turn around? Like, what? Did I just turn around? Okay, I just turn around. And then like, picking up the gussets for some reason on one side, I'm like, how do I do that? Like, how do I do this? This is really confusing. Um, but I made it through and I have a second sock here on the magic loop. I did the heel already. I'm already past the gusset decreases. It's so, I wanted to have these done for today. Oh, wells. Um, I didn't quite get there and I'll talk about why. I have a lot of other things happening, but um, <clears throat> yeah, isn't that so cute? So again, it's from a of Zebra Yarns. I still have a decent amount of yarn left over, even after my daughter's little pair of socks and my socks. So that's what I'm working on for her. Um, I've been, like if I go out walking, I'll take this with me because it's my smallest project. <laughs> like the tiniest project right now. Okay, so my second whip is a new one. Oh, <laughs> this is a test knit. Last episode, I just showed you the colors that I was doing. And then this episode, obviously I have actual whip here to show you. This is the division Divisions Shawl by Leslie Ann Robinson. I'm testing it. I believe it's coming out um, sometime this month, in the middle of the month. And it's a brioche shawl with some garter in between. And I'm loving it. Let me tell you about my colors. So I'm using hazmat suit in my these are all in my sock fingering base holly white and a new color that i will be coming out with um is called wayfarer 515 ribbon and i know that's a really crazy and long name um it comes from breaking bad so if you're familiar with breaking bad that might ring a bell to you. Um, and yeah, I'm loving all the color combinations and how it's turning out. I have this little progress keeper on here from um, Asia of yarn, yarn fixation, I think. Yarn fixation. I'm using that just to mark my front side. Um, since brioche is reversible, um, I just don't want to get confused at all. It especially helped me in the beginning to have that on there. But I'm loving how it's turning out. This section down here reminded me of like strawberry lemonade, the pink and the yellow, and then the pink and blue, and then now the yellow and blue. So I'm loving, here's the back. Even like, this is like the first true brioche project that I feel is like, wow, this could actually be like worn on the, on the wrong side, the reverse side. And it looks so pretty on this side too. So I'm excited for this. It's moving along. Um, yeah, I think I have to have my testing notes back by the 18th, I think. So we don't have a ton of time left to finish it up. So kind of we'll be focusing on this project a little more. Um, usually I try to spread out my time between multiple projects. So I'm just making progress on all of them. 
um, but I might have to prioritize this one a little bit more so I can get it done faster. But that's my second whip. My third and final whip is my mist again from Leslie Ann Robinson. And last episode I showed that I finished the front panel. So it looks kind of awkward. So here's the front, the front panel is here. It's backwards, I'm showing it the back. And then now I'm working on the back panel. So that's where I am. I actually need to wind up more yarn. Sorry. Um, this thing is getting rather large and awkward. Um, I need to wind up more yarn, <laughs> but I also am like, well, let's see how far this could go. <laughs> um, so playing yarn chicken, I mean, I know I'm gonna have to wind up more yarn to actually finish the top, because like, um, I don't have enough, clearly, to finish it, but I'm still in my first skeins. So this one, this little tiny heap of yarn here is Lily of the Valley, whoops. <laughs> Yili Lily of the Valley, my stock fingering base. And then this is what I have left of my breaking delphinium in my sock fingering base. It's pretty funny. Not a lot there. So I need to um, pick out two more skeins, wind them up and get that finished as well. But it's, like I said, um, I need to get my test knit done first. So I may prioritize that um, over, um, over any other project. Okay, I want to announce the winners from episode 37. Um, so for the patterns, I was giving out five patterns of your choice from my shop um, or to five winners. One pattern of your choice for, for five winners. And then the grand prize, which was the project bag, um, a few breaking yarn goodies and some non-superwash worsted wool um, in breaking violet and crystal meth. So the five pattern winners, and I'm gonna try to um, comment on your comment as well in case you don't see this um but the first one is carrie han congratulations the second one for the pattern is amanda boone congratulations the third is Lori rollison the fourth is sarah may and the fifth is Hooks and Books Podcast. You all won a pattern of your choice from my shop. Um, please send me an email at um, it's breakingyarn at gmail.com and I will get you set up with whatever pattern you would like. And the grand prize winner from the yarn and the project bag and the goodies and a pattern, I don't wanna forget that I also said I would give a pattern for that as well, is Deborah Mulvey, congratulations. Please send me an email, breakingyarn at gmail.com and I will mail out your prize to you. Um, so congratulations to all of the winners. Thank you so much for all of the comments and the well wishes on the last episode. I am so excited to have hit a thousand subscribers um, and I'm excited to see where this podcast and YouTube channel will be able to go. Um, so a few things. I have a new colorway coming out when this airs on Monday, July 11th. It is the Saul Goodman colorway. This is what it is on a fingering base. It is half black, half silver to represent his suits. And then all the fun speckles, all the colors that you see, all the fun speckles are to represent his shirts and ties that he wears with his suits. He wears a lot of really fun colors. Um, so that was the inspiration 
behind this colorway. This is, um, the actor is Bob Odenkirk, and he's the one who plays Saul Goodman, Jimmy McGill from Better Call Saul. And the second part of the final season of Better Call Saul starts on Monday, July 11th. So um, it's a monumental day and also maybe a little sad too that it's kind of the end of an era. Um, but I felt like that would be a great way to celebrate the show's second half of the finale um, starting back up. So if you're watching, um, send me DMs on Instagram and we should talk. <laughs> um, if not, what are you waiting for? It's so good. Um, and my plan is to go straight from the end of Better Call Saul straight back into Breaking Bad, excuse me, to watch it again because I just want to watch it again. <laughs> and I feel like watch, like going straight from Better Call Saul into Breaking Bad will be such a nice transition. Um, cause there might be some things in, in Breaking Bad that are like, you're kind of like, wait, what, who's that person? Um, and I feel like Better Call Saul is making that make sense. And, um, at least to me, <laughs> I don't know about to other people, but at least to me and I'm excited to um, be able to watch that. Okay, so the other thing that's coming out on Monday, July 11th are my Saul Goodman socks pattern. Let's see if it'll focus on me here. This is this colorway right here, knit up. It makes micro stripes. And this sock pattern is a really fun texture. Simple though, simple texture. I've talked about it before. Um, it's a broken rib because I feel like Saul tries to be a good straight, like on point lawyer and he just kind of gets pulled in other directions and he kind of gets um, swept up in the scandal. Um, so, that's why it's a broken rib, but it's a very casual broken rib, I guess. Um, and I also did a brand new to me heel on here. It's called the half linen stitch heel. And it's a lot of fun. I love the way it looks. It looks so good. Um, I actually have a full tutorial also coming out Monday, July 11th here on YouTube. It's independent of the pattern. So if you want to get the pattern and you need the tutorial, it's all there for you. It's linked in the pattern as well. Um, if you just want to try this heel out on a sock, you can do that too. Um, so I give you the full directions and there's little timestamps in that video as well for how to knit this heel flap. I also turn the heel and pick up the gusset stitches on the pattern in the video. So those are also coming out on Monday, July 11th. I'm super excited. I love these. I want to start my next pair of Saul Goodman socks in a different color wave. Um, just to test it out. I have been loving seeing the tester photos come through um, and what yarns they chose. Obviously it looks really good in this Saul Goodman colorway, um, but one thing that's fun about the patterns is that um, they can look good in a lot of different colorways. Um, so I've had, I had 19 testers between the four different sizes of the Saul Goodman um, sock pattern. And I just wanted to, hopefully by the time I edit this, I will have all the pictures back because today's the deadline. Um, it's Saturday, July 9th right now. Today is the deadline to get, excuse me, notes and photos back to me. So I still have a little tiny bit of time to make final adjustments on the pattern. But I'll just run through the names of the testers and I will show their corresponding photo of their um, Saul Goodman socks with it. 
So a huge thanks to everyone who has test knit for me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you are interested in test knitting in the future for me, please um, get on my email newsletter subscribe list. That is the best chance that you have. The last like three, four tester calls that I've had, I haven't even needed to put it out on social media at all because it fills up just from my email list. So if you're interested in testing for me, whatever next pattern is coming, um, please do that. And that's your best chance of getting in to my testing pool. So huge thank you to Brittany, Courtney, Chaley, Melanie, Carla, Lauren, Barbara, Mary W, Sheila, Barb, Rebecca, Rachel, Jessica, Jenny, Yvonne, Mary M, and Kathy. Thank you so much to all of you for test knitting for me and for your amazing notes on the pattern. Um, I've already been working through those and making some changes so that it can be the best pattern that it can be for everyone who decides to purchase that. I think that's everything. Thank you so much to everyone for joining me for episode 38 of the Breaking Yarn podcast. I appreciate you spending a little bit of your time with me and I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day and week. We'll see you. Bye. I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 37. Nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Hold on. <laughs>